Hi, Attorney Steve Vondren, The Real Estate Lawyer. We're back in this video talking about real estate board arbitrations. Now, when you're involved in a dispute with another realtor, oftentimes somebody's going to file a complaint with your local real estate board, and you're going to find yourself answering charges of sometimes it's ethics, sometimes it's a commission dispute, sometimes there's also a complaint to the Bureau of Real Estate. So you have to understand when you get involved in these commission disputes, the other party is likely going to get very aggressive with you and try to make your life miserable. Now I know sometimes the, the commission disputes are small, maybe they're five, seven, ten thousand, sometimes they're larger, twenty, thirty, fifty thousand. But my advice to you, no matter whether it's a smaller case or a larger case, seek the advice of a real estate attorney because you want to be telling a consistent story because the Bureau of Real Estate could come down on you and ask you to explain your transaction. You want to make sure your evidence is matching up with what really happened. So you want a, you want a global strategy on how to handle these disputes. You may have an ethics complaint with your board. Your board may be seeking to fine you, may be seeking to cut off your MLS access. So these are very important issues. The Bureau of Real Estate, if you were engaged in some shady activity, may want to revoke or suspend or discipline your license and file an accusation against you. So it's very important, I think, to get real estate counsel involved at the early stages of these hearings. And you might want to actually have the attorney or law firm come out and represent you at the board hearing. The, in the board hearing process, you do have a right to have an attorney present, so you may want to spend some money to have a real estate lawyer there with you to help make the record, to cross-examine witnesses, to make sure you're getting all your evidence in. Because what happens sometimes is when you lose at the board level, you get very upset and emotional. That's when our phone rings and people say, well, I want to hire an attorney now. And I say, that's great but you probably should have had an attorney at the early stage. Now we have to appeal it. Your appeals is usually limited to your due process grounds. So, you know, things can be a little more difficult, okay? And uh, obviously the worst case is you may have to go into superior court to vacate the arbitrator's judgment. So these are time consuming and expensive things. And if you, if you hire a real estate lawyer up front, you may be able to, to avoid some of these aggravations and hassles, and maybe not, or at least you have an attorney there to help represent you and tell your story and to keep you out of hot water with your ethics charges, with BRE accusations and those kinds of things. So if you want your case examined, give us a call. We're willing to give you a free initial consultation to discuss your case and our services and what we can do for you, okay? This is Attorney Steve Vondren. Hope you enjoyed this. Give us a call at 877-276-5084 or you can find out more information at Broker Council. Dot com. That's brokercouncil.com.